Hello everybody and welcome to my LP on Blaster Master for the NES. Now there are two storylines for this game, the Japanese version and the English version. Now the clips shown here are the English version, but I'm gonna I'm gonna briefly uh, tell you what the Japanese version is like. Okay, so the game takes place on a planet named Sophia the Third, which an evil emperor named Goez has conquered most of the galaxy and recently taken over Sophia the Third itself. So the last survivor makes a weapon uh, to just to destroy Goez, which is a tank named Metal Attacker. Yeah, really original. And it's commandeered by a young boy named Kane, and the game starts with the tank being dropped directly into a battlefield in the first level. So, that's well enough, but here's the English version. Well, my English version. So let's just slow down these clips a little bit. Oh, yay, look at my little frog. He's so awesome in his little job. Hello, little frog. You're never going to get out of this big job. Oh, no. He's getting away. Come back. Where are you going? Oh, no. Oh, somebody left a big old dumpster of waiter actor stuff. I got to get my frog. Come back here. And and this is where he changed from changes from a tiny frog to a big ass frog. Oh my god, look at my frog, he's so big. I love my big Oh, he fell in the hole. Oh no, it's a big hole. What am I gonna do? Um I think I'm gonna jump down the hole. Yay, I'm not gonna break my legs or anything. I'm just gonna jump down the hole. Whoa, is that is that a tank? Oh, I'm just gonna go over and find a new tank. Yay. Oh, and I got a little outfit. Bit of ammo, yay! Anyways, yeah, basically the dude has a frog, it jumps out of its thing, goes on some radioactive shit, falls into the ground, he says, hey, I'm gonna jump down the hole, it's not like I'm gonna break my legs or anything. And, um, basically, he jumps down the hole, I guess he's alright, because he finds a fucking tank and, like, a suit of armor. So anyways, he just, you know, puts the stuff on, grabs the tank, says, yeah, let's get going. So, here's the game. <laughs> uh, yeah, this game was made by Sunsoft, uh, which was released in June of 1988 in Japan, and uh, was later released in North America uh, in, of the same year, 1988. Uh, now, the Japan version didn't do as well as the NES version. Actually, it done horrible over Japan, but uh, it done very well as soon as it came to North America. So, Sunsoft actually was able to make some sequels to the game. And honestly, this game is awesome. Um, I finished it once when I was a kid, but I mean, oh, that was so long ago. Um, I remember m some of the places. I was about to say all, but that's bullshit. Um, but anyways, yeah, getting to the game. Uh, as you can see so far, uh, you know, you're going to go straight through the level, straight to the first door. Try not to get yourself killed, obviously, first. Uh, but yeah, I think you gotta jump into this water, and I think you'll get to the door that you're supposed to go to. Should be then this way. Or not. Okay, so we got some homing missiles, and, uh, and as you can see, <laughs> this game is not easy by any means. I'm almost dead already. Uh, but that's also due to, you know, screwing around, not playing the game, uh, you know, in years and years and years, because basically, when I finished the game, I pretty much decided, yeah, I'm I'm done with you know playing this because it took way too long, way way too long. So, uh, but anyways, continuing on, we'll uh, keep going through the water. Maybe the doors? Uh, no, that is one of the doors, but it's not the right one. The one that you're looking for actually has a ladder uh, that goes all the way up, and then there's a the doors actually outside. Uh, on the land itself, so so I've obviously taken uh, the wrong way. So I'm gonna go back, and uh, I'm pretty sure then maybe it's on the other side in the next little bit of water. So uh, I'm gonna make my way back up there, and yeah, you can get out here actually with your little dude, and see, boom, 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 you can shoot a little lower than your tank. There's a lot of things in the ground that uh, your tank can't really uh, shoot at, so. But I mean, the nice thing about your tank is that it can shoot up. I mean, it almost looks like a person, more than anything, with wheels <laughs> instead of legs. At least that's what it always looked like to me, so. But yeah, this game is infamously, like, difficult. Um, I'm going to try my best to, well, obviously, if I'm doing an LP, I'm going to finish this game one way or another. Um, but hopefully, I can, one, do it legitly, and two, uh, it won't take me forever. <laughs> Because I mean, it's not—it's not, 
it's not a long, long game, really, but I mean, it's long enough that uh, you don't really want to waste your time. And when I say it's not long, I mean, if you know how to play the game, it doesn't, you know, it's a few hours or whatever, but if you haven't played the game, it's going to take you a long time, because one, everything's not just laid out straightforward for you, actually, you actually have to look around and stuff. And two, like this, for instance, there's several doors in this uh in this area alone, and this is the one they actually got to go to to get to the level, the stage boss or whatever, to get your first uh, upgrade for Sophia. Which I guess I should uh, tell everybody that yeah, you're going to be looking for these little doors in every stage so that uh, you can eventually uh, defeat a boss and gain a new part for your tank, Sophia, which is named Sophia the Third. Yeah, I forgot to mention that by the way. In the Japanese version, the planet is named Sophia the Third, and in the North American version. Um, the tank is actually named Sophia the Third, which is kind of weird. But uh, I guess they wanted to keep the name in there, you know, trying to stay true to dude's story somewhat, anyways. But uh, yeah, I'm just trying to look for, you know, power ups there. Usually gun powers is what I'm looking for. It's not like it's going to last long, anyways. Like I said, it's been a while since I played this, but the more you play it, the more uh, you get used to it, like all the uh, different uh, ways of moving your character around and taking advantage of the. Uh, the level design itself, so. Now, I'm not going to gather all those peas because that's just power, which is, you know, more or less your life bar. And uh, I'm filled out right now, so I don't really need any life uh, as of yet. And uh, yeah, you also start the game with the basic gun, and you also get these grenades, which thank God you don't have to uh, replenish either, uh, which is quite nice. Uh, it's nice that you don't have to worry about ammo in this. It's kind of like a classic. Uh, arcade type style, you know, just, you know, keep shooting, keep going, don't worry about nothing, just, you know, get whatever you gotta get to keep yourself alive and eventually get to where you're supposed to go. Damn, took away two, uh, two pieces of power, I mean, these things look like, I don't know, they kind of look like Borg, maybe, I don't know, if weird, if there's any, uh, if there's any Star Trek nerds following me at all, uh, <laughs> you'll know what Borg are, and, even if you're not a, a uh, Star Trek nerd, you'll probably know what a Borg is anyways. And here's the first boss. And uh, also, I might add that uh, isn't the music in this game, like, awesome? I love the music in this game. Now, you might be wondering, oh, what the hell is he doing? He's throwing a grenade and he keeps pausing it. Well, the whole idea is that if you land the grenade properly and pause the game, this works on a lot of the bosses, by the way, that um, you can actually kill them. Uh, it's like the grenade keeps exploding over and over again infinitely until you unpause the game. So that's, I guess, keeps causing damage over and over again. But uh, I'm obviously, uh, see, I'm obviously not getting the timing right. And the more you move towards this little brain thing, because that's all it really looks like. But yeah, the more you move towards it, as you can see, the little tiny <laughs> brain things on the outside of it also uh, get closer to it. So it's harder to get you know, near it to use the grenades sufficiently. Hopefully I got it this time. So I'm almost dead and I can't afford to get killed here already, Jesus. So yeah, if you can actually get the timing done right, it only actually takes one grenade, paused for long enough, I think it's like 30 seconds or so, to actually, oh, I'm dead, to actually kill a boss. You only need the one grenade, that's it, uh, if you do it right. So, um, yeah, try to get your timing down, and hopefully uh, you'll get this better than I have today. Uh, I used to be much better at this when I was a kid. I don't know why it's so bad now. And as you can see, uh, it also started uh, started me right off at the uh, at the boss after I died, uh, which is a nice thing, it, you know, that not have to go through the entire level again. But uh, the thing is, if you actually die and have to continue, then um, you will start out at the very first of the level, and I don't mean out, you know, just inside the little door that I just went in, but I mean at the very start of the level where I actually began recording. So, yeah, you don't want to, you know, have to die and continue too often because it will piss you off, and you will not want to play that over and over again. This bastard is giving me so much trouble, and I just love getting hit by everything, and I, I might as well just kill myself. Yeah. Left, zero. Thank you. Right, three. I don't know. Uh, yeah, that means uh, I have no more extra lives, so. I'm hopefully gonna kill him this time. Jesus Christ. Uh, 
Yeah, the grenade thing doesn't seem to be working. I should just, uh, I don't know. I should just throw a bunch of grenades at him or something. And, I don't know, maybe I'm not leaving it paused long enough. It feels like I am, but I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm in, you know, all anxious to keep playing instead of just having to wait here for this thing to die because it's obviously not 30 seconds at a time. Well, this one seems to be a bit longer, though. <laughs> No, he still didn't die. Jesus. Uh, yeah. There's no good deposit either while you're missing. But see, as you can see there, look, it's just... Jesus. Die. You're a fucking mushy brain. Seriously, though, how can you not be dead yet? Jesus. Like grenades to the brain? Uh, I wouldn't want to take grenades to the brain. I bet you that sucks. Oh. There we go. I don't know, maybe I hit him with enough grenades, or maybe that one big long pause that I had actually, you know, did him in. I'm not sure. Oh, after you get the gun, the music pauses, and then if you pause the game and start it up, it, redo it's, it pauses again and restarts, and then you pause it, and then it restarts again. Oh my god, I have way too much fun with it. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, after you kill a boss, you get thrown right at the very start of the level, so... Just pop right out, get off of this ladder, and sink to the bottom. And as you can see, the fire, the firepower now that's coming out of the or ammunition. Jesus, firepower! I'm on fucking Mario. Uh, yeah. Anyways, the ammunition that's coming out of my gun now looks much different. It's actually stronger now, so uh, we'll need that to. I think it's either to kill something over here or to unblock an area. But I thought the the shot that actually destroys different bricks uh, was level 2, stage 2, area 2, whatever the fuck you want to call it. I honestly can't believe that this kid goes through all the fucking trouble down here for a goddamn frog. It's a frog. And like, not even a special one, it's just a plain green fucking frog that you can find anywhere. It's like, oh, my frog just grew like 10 times bigger and fell into a radioactive hole. Yeah, I think I'm gonna fuck off and leave that alone now. Or, you know, at least, you know, oh, I'll just go to this pet store and get another frog. It's a frog. Jesus, why would you do that? Hmm, this deep hole, I'll just break my legs going down this deep hole, you know. Ah, uh, it's to kill this thing. That's what the gun is for. And look at it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it does. It looked like it was enjoying getting hit, quite honestly. But yeah, this kid's an idiot. I, don't, I can't believe he's doing all this for a goddamn frog. I wouldn't do this for a dog, I don't think. Oh, my dog fell down a hole. Oh, shit. Look at all these monsters. Yeah, I think I'm done with monsters, seeing as, you know, it's just a dog. I mean, I love my dog, too, but Jesus. Anyways, enough of that. Uh, this is where you go to get to stage two. And I'm going to end it here today. So that was a brief playthrough of Blaster Master, part one of my LP, whatever you want to call it. Uh, thanks everybody for watching. Tell everybody, subscribe, comment, like. Thanks. See you guys later.